Greetings and salutations, my friends. This video is inspired by Jamie Created That, a wonderful artist on YouTube. And I am trying something new today. Welcome to the Feel Good Pouring Station. This is Garrett Brown. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new, sit down and relax. <laughs> we are friendly around here, but yes, it is good to try new things. And that is exactly what I'm doing. So if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I am on the straight pour galaxy pour kick but i'm changing things up a bit and i wanted to try this wandering straight pour and i've done a couple in the past but i'm going into this with an open mind um so i am trying to emulate a video that i saw on jamie's channel make sure you check her out she is a sweetheart uh, but what we are doing is layering our cup here just five colors and we are going to wander across our canvas and do a lot of stretching. Um, so coming into this with an open mind, the big thing or takeaway I can tell you off the bat is your paints need to be thick. Thick. Yes, very, very thick uh, for this painting. Um, just what I have watched, you need that thickness and you need a heavy pigment load because you're doing a lot of stretching and um, you're holding your cup at a higher level than I would for my straight pours um, because you want to straw a smaller stream, which then helps to create the depth and the patterns when you um, go to stretch everything out. So that is enough um, on that. We're going to explore together and see how it comes out. This is more of an experiment. Um, I like to post this type of content from time to time. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but uh, while you are looking, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this content already. I know it hasn't started, but just go ahead and hit it anyway because it's free and I really appreciate it. <laughs>
So as I tilt, um, I'm loving the composition, especially where my right hand is at the bottom right of the screen. I love that look. Um, it's super just, it's a lot of depth and the colors. It's very, um, I don't know the word. It's just, I really like it. Um, now I will say the white disappeared. I'm thinking because it is so heavy, you know, titanium white paint is super heavy. So it sunk and I can tell it sunk when I was pouring the paint out of my cup. So that's something for me to keep in to consideration the next time and maybe utilize a lot more white. Um, you will see that corner to the left. You can see those white undertones showing through on the edge of the canvas. Um, so, you know, that kind of explains that. But the turquoise blue, which is like top three, one of my favorite colors in life, is overwhelming for me at this point. <laughs> but look at that. That is just spectacular. Um, I love how the paint intersects and just creates this gorgeous movement. Um, I definitely will be trying some variations of this uh, coming up. But yeah, just staring in amazement at what the paint and I have created. But I'm a little overwhelmed with the turquoise blue, so I made a little baby cup. Hey, baby cup. <laughs> So this isn't quite my final result. I actually made some additional um, changes off camera. Uh, so this was the final result, but I wasn't liking the look of this little ring pour. Um, it just wasn't flowing right with me. So I made some minor adjustments. All right, my friends, these are the dried results. The cobalt tilled darkened up a bit after it cured, which I like. Um, I love that additional pour and just that peak of turquoise peak in between the browns is just really, really pretty. And the bottom, I just love, really, really love this piece. So it will get a vote of carnet, a varnish. And I will see you in another video. Peace.